Hi, I'm Clara Hunsinger. I'm the U.S. national champion, and this is Between the Tapes. This season, I'm really looking forward to going over to Europe and doing some races that I've raced in the past that are really iconic to me, such as the Over ISO World Cup and the Koppenberg uh, Classic. So I'm really lucky this year to continue working with my road team. It's EF Education, Tipco Silicon Valley Bank. Uh, I rode with them on the road and they were really uh, generous to put together a cyclocross program for myself and my teammate Zoe Baxter. Yeah, it's my third time racing in Fayetteville. It's definitely a unique course, one that you wouldn't really see anywhere else. It's really fast, it has a technical descent that you're taking at full speed, and so it really requires that you push yourself to the limit physically, but then you also recover in order to hit those technical sections well. This season, I have my eyes set on uh, the World Championships in Hogeharda, the Netherlands. It's going to be a massive event because that's an iconic course and it's a goal I've set my, for myself uh, really at the end of last season, thinking forward. I took September off to recover and do some training and so this is actually only my third race back this season but so far I, I won the, the Waterloo C1 and I had a pretty good race uh, in Waterloo at the World Cup and I think today I hope the, the build on my ranking. My start was a little bit, it got a little bit crowded. Uh, however, I was able to recover pretty quickly and be in the top five on the descent. Um, the descent comes right after the, the start, so I was able to move up quite quickly. There was a number of uh, attacks by Inga going up the, the steep hill. She put in some big digs after Helene Clausel, the French woman, and I were leading on the front. And so she did one attack about three laps ago and I countered it. And when I looked back, we had a little gap on the other two. One of the challenges for today was actually the heat, which is a little bit unexpected in uh, mid-October. So it was definitely, not only were we considering the, how dry it was and dusty it was, but just trying to keep hydrated and cool out there. You know, today was a great learning opportunity for me of with this, I've ridden this course a couple of times and in the past I think I've probably not been the most tactical in terms of where I expended my energy. So today I really uh, thought twice about when I needed the attack and then where I could really recover. So I feel pretty happy with how it went overall. Alright, that's Between the Tape and we'll see you next weekend at King's Cross.